In an insecure world, one bloke and one bird are on the move to steal your data. Go for a jaunt down Business Process Flow Boulevard. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a CRM in a can. Dial CRM for murder. I'd like to report a new lead. And who is your new lead? I am. It's the night of the Opportunity Hunter. I don't usually butt into women's affairs, but what's this Alpine ski house to you, toots? Don't change the grids on my account. A threat to account indemnity everywhere. Forget it, Pete. It's field level security town. It's Angels with Filthy CRM 2. Contact Confidential. Now playing at a theater near you. Hi, I'm Peter Wolf. And I'm Miriam Florio. Welcome to Channel Q, the CRM Review. Where we talk about all things CRM. And, and more. Today's episode is on security. Enjoy the show. Hey guys, it's Miriam Florio. Today we're going to be covering the top three security tips for Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM. Number one, don't modify existing security roles inside of CRM. So rather than taking the existing roles and changing them a lot, we, we prefer that you keep them intact and actually create a copy of those security roles. So you can select the security role, for example, the sales one, and click copy to, and then create a whole new security role. And that way you can keep the other one as a reference and always go back to it. Or if something goes wrong, you can defer back to the existing security roles that come with the system. Number two tip. Remember, you can use owner teams instead of actual users that own records. So, for example, in your industry, you might be tracking um, account managers and customer service reps against every account in the system. Rather than having the owner be an individual person, you might have a security, a team that actually owns the record. So those two users can be on the same team, or let's say even three or four people, and that can actually be the owner of the record, the name of the team, rather than each person. That way you don't need to go in and explicitly share that record with other users in the system. It just makes it a lot easier to track later on. And the third tip is to use field level security. So we oftentimes rely on the security roles and entity level security settings and forget about the fact that there's field level security that we can use. So you might have sensitive fields that exist on your account level, opportunities, et cetera. Instead of actually not putting those in the system at all or having everybody see them, you can set field level security to control who has access to those fields and what they can perform on the fields themselves. Thanks for joining me. For a more in-depth walkthrough on security roles and making a copy of them, click here. Join me next time for more tips on Dynamics 365. Bye. Did you know? Did you know that you can turn on auditing for all fields or individual fields within Microsoft Dynamics 365? This allows you to track changes to the field or look up previous values for the field. What we recommend is that when you first play with it and try it out, just pick a few specific fields. Don't try to turn on it on for everything, because what happens is if you turn on it for all the fields, or for fields that change very often, it can impact performance and slow things down. So you're going to want to pick a few fields that are important to you, and then don't change very often, get a feel for it, and then if you need to, you can turn it on for everything. Now you know. Now you know. Oh, it's the doorbell. Come in. <laughs> Mailman Gordon. Hey, how's man, it going, Gordon. Pete? Good, how you doing? Good to see you, I'm pretty good, you know? What's what's new in the world of mail? Uh, well, you know, the rebellion is going well, so, uh, you know, don't forget to follow the new order by mail. I'll do that. Do you have <laughs> and speaking of mail, oh, that is for you. Great, thanks. Absolutely. Mailman Gordon, everybody. Hey, thanks, guys. Mailman right, see you Gordon. later. Let's see what he brought us. Oh, viewer mail, I love this stuff. So the first question is from Sleepless in San Antonio. We are in a recruiting agency and have a high turnover rate. I only want two specific users to be able to export data out of CRM, but I want everyone to be able to import. Can I do this? Yeah, this isn't a problem. What we would recommend that you do is you set up a, a, take a copy of an existing security role that has all the rights, take that new security role and remove the export privileges. Then you'd add those two users into that role and that would prevent them from exporting, but they'd still be able to do everything else that the other role has. Okay? Let's see. The next question is from New Kids on the Block 2. 
We have two temporary employees for our busy season. We don't want them to be able to change any of the information in our system, but we want them to be able to look up records and provide details on customer service issues. Yeah, that happens a lot. Should we block access to the entire account entity in order to accomplish this? No, you generally wouldn't want to do this. You can do this a couple ways though. In the security roles, you can actually restrict the access to changing information on the account and you might want to copy the security roles like, like I mentioned in the first question. But there's actually an easier way to do this. You can buy a team member license, which automatically is a read-only license. So it, that's probably the route that we would recommend because it's significantly less investment on your part for the team member license versus the full license and there's less configuration to do. So that's kind of the route that we would take for that. Great question though. The last question comes from Cha Cha Changes. I guess that's a Bowie song. Uh, I didn't probably do that very well. Our CRM developer wants to create a custom entity to track some non-typical information. In our last CRM system, we had custom entities and they became a real nuisance because we couldn't lock them down with the security model. Is there a better way of doing this? Yeah, that is really a great question. This happens a lot. In a lot of CRM systems, custom entities are a real special case and they don't fit in with the other uh, model of the, of the core entities. The good news is with Microsoft Dynamics 365, the custom entities act like the built-in entities. So you're going to be able to do things like secure them just like you would with a regular entity. You would go into the security role area and there's going to be a custom entities tab and you'll be able to go into the custom entities and secure them as you would any other entity in CRM. Okay, hopefully that helps. And if you have any, if you need any additional assistance on that, go to www.quantacrm.com and, and the contact us page, you should be able to reach out to us and we'll be able to help you out with that. All right, well, thanks everybody. I'll be back in four weeks with some more mailbag. Thank you. All right, that's it for the show. Come on back in two weeks for the new segment. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Miriam? Okay, let's try that again. Thanks for joining us. Join us next time for CRM News with the 4th of July special. Really? Are in we gonna two do weeks. Yeah. anything special planned? Well, you'll have to just tune in and see. Can I ask Gordon? Gordon, anything special planned for 4th of July? You'll have to tune in and see. Oh, wow. All right. It's you a cliffhanger. Wow. All right. Well, we'll see you in two weeks. Bye, everybody. Bye. I imagine the camera is Do you wave at people when you talk to them? Well, when I see people at a conference, I'll wave to them, sure. Like, Hi, Pete. Gordon. Hi. Hi, it's Miriam. Like, it's like a, well, if they're across the like hall. It's like a kindergartner. When you, no, when you first see them across the hall, you're like, hey, Jeff, hey, Steve. But we're in a combo. Oh, should we be calling, like, remember Miss Molly would talk to people, like, Who's Miss Mom? Hi, Joey. Like from um, Romper Room. I never watched it, I guess.